So, um... Hi. So, what's your name? Quinn. Quinn? Nice to have you with us here tonight, Quinn. Uh, would you describe yourself as a quiet person? Um, yeah, I would. I'm usually pretty shy when it comes to talking or socializing with other people. Yeah? Why do you, and why do you think that is, that you just... Because I, I used to be shy. I, was, I used to be shy like all through junior high and, and elementary school. Um, I think it's just kind of the way I am. I always born. Um, yeah. Also, I don't... Um, I'm, I'm sort of introverted, so I like to either be at home or talking with my friends online, preferably. Mm, yeah? I like doing that. Yeah. yeah? So where uh, did you grow up? Where were you born? I was born right here in Calgary. Yeah? Uh, and we moved to Colorado for about five years or so, but then we decided to come back. Oh yeah? Why do you know why you moved? Called out? Um, primarily uh, my dad had a much better job off right there. Oh yeah, interesting. Yeah. And so that, is that why you've switched schools so many times? You've mentioned that. Yeah, a lot of the schools didn't work out and uh, a lot of them were better so we switched. But uh, yeah, it came down to a lot of different reasons but yeah, I changed the last year. Yeah. Um, what would you say would be your greatest accomplishments? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Nothing that really stands out extremely significant, but it's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. These are tough questions. That's fine. We can move on. Yeah, okay. We can just come back to it. Um... Are there any areas of school that you struggle with? Um, yeah, I am dyslexic and because of that I have an IPP. And mm -hmm. so generally that relates to uh, me struggling in math primarily and sometimes reading and writing. Like things like uh, when I was a lot younger, I got my like. Uh, B's and B's backwards and B's and Q's backwards and stuff like that. Oh, yeah? yeah that's uh, a lot of the time strongly relates to being dyslexic. Being dyslexic? Yeah. Interesting. And is there anything you like at school? Like, is it all, or is it just, is it all just um, a struggle and you'd rather just be at home? I, I have to say I would rather be at home. But yeah, uh, of course, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like uh, the arts usually, and I do enjoy different classes relating to tech on the computer or uh, a new class that I'm taking, technical theater. I really like supporting the drama kids. Oh yeah? Yeah, I used to take drama. Drama was lots of fun for me, yeah. I found. That's awesome. And I guess coming back to that question, um, what is your greatest accomplishment? That's, you know, that's something you need to think about. Has anything come up? Have you thought anything that you've been proud of in your life? Anything that like has made you feel good about yourself? It can be simple things, honestly. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It doesn't have to be like yeah. winning. Uh, well, I think that um, I can. Uh, I'm sure there's a couple things that I can think of, but uh, I've been struggling a lot with like social anxiety and things like that because I'm quite shy and uh, introverted person. Uh, and something that really helped me overcome that was when I took a trip with my youth group in Colorado to a college in Texas. Okay. And we were basically just uh, going there to learn about different things and uh, do a whole bunch of different activities. And there was a lot of people there and there were some moments that were pretty scary. Like, Yeah. <laughs> I know I know the feeling. It was a pretty long ways away from home and we stayed there for a couple of days and I think that was something that really helped me overcome uh, 